Welcome to the news hosting video on configuring news clients. To access Usenet through news hosting, you'll need to install a special software called a news client, which acts as your Usenet browser. This video will walk you through the process with four of the most popular news clients, Newsbin Pro, Outlook Express, Thunderbird, and for our Mac users we feature Unison. You can skip ahead in the video to the time shown on your screen for the news client you'll be using. If you want to use a different news client than those we have featured, we still recommend watching at least one of the featured configuration videos, as setup among news clients is pretty similar. If you're configuring Newsbin Pro for the first time, a new setup wizard window will appear. Click Next to begin the installation. Read through the license agreement and click I Agree. And in the next screen, we'll ask you which components you'd like to install. When you're finished, click Next. Here you'll be asked where you want to download the system files to. You can use the Browse button to browse your computer for the spot you want. And when you're done, click Next. Now it's time to choose the location your downloaded files will save to. If you'd like to use a different location, use the button to the right of the input field to browse your computer for the spot that you want. And when you're done, click Next. In this screen, we'll create a name for our news server. News hosting will be fine. Click Next when you're done. In the server address field, you'll enter the news hosting address based on the account you chose. This information can be found in your Quick Start email or the support section of newshosting.com. Check the Requires login box below and click Next. Enter your news hosting password and username exactly as they appear in your startup email and click Test. If you've entered everything correctly, Newsbin Pro setup will complete, and you can launch Newsbin Pro and start browsing right away. Just hit Finish to exit the wizard. From the main window of Outlook Express, select Tools, and then select Accounts. A window titled Internet Accounts should appear. Select Add, and then News, and this will open up an Internet Connection Wizard window. The first section will ask for your display name, and this is what users will see when you post articles. Most users enter an alias, but you can use your real name if you like. Hit Next when done. The next section requests your email address, and this allows users that read your post to reply to you privately by email. If you want to make your email address known to others but want to protect it from spam, enter it like so. Human readers will know to remove that portion of the displayed address to contact you. After entering your email address, hit Next. The next screen will ask for your news server. In the server address field, you'll enter the news hosting address based on the account you chose, and this information can be found in your Quick Start email or the support section of newshosting.com. Check the box for My News Server Requires Me to Log On and hit Next. The next section requests your account name and password. Enter your news hosting password and username exactly as they appear in your startup email. If you'd like, you can leave the Remember Password box checked so you don't have to enter the password every time you log in. And when you're finished, click Next. Hit the Finish button at this screen. Now in the Internet Accounts window, you'll see a new entry for newshosting.com. Click on the entry to highlight it and select the Properties button on the right side of the window. Click on the Advanced tab and check the box next to This Server Requires a Secure Connection. The port listed above this checkbox should auto-populate to 563. Port 443 is also available, and it may provide faster speeds for customers with artificial bandwidth limitations. When you're done, click OK, and then click Yes to download the news groups. In the main screen of Thunderbird, click File, then New, then Account. Select News Group Account and hit Next. The first section will ask for your display name, and this is what users will see when you post articles. Most users enter an alias, but you can use your real name if you like. The next section requests your email address, and this allows users that read your post to reply to you privately by email. If you want to make your email address known to others but want to protect it from spam, enter it like so. Human readers will know to remove that portion of the displayed address to contact you. When you're done, hit Next. 
This screen will ask for your new server. In the server address field, you'll enter the news hosting address based on the account you chose. This information can be found in your Quick Start email or the support section of newshosting.com. Hit Next when done. Here you'll choose an account name, such as News Hosting, and click Next. Verify all the information, and if you need to edit this info, click the Back button. If you're finished, click the Finish button. And what you'll see now is the Thunderbird screen. In the left pane window, you'll see News Hosting listed. Click on News Hosting, and you'll see a News Group screen. Select Manage News Group Subscriptions, and this screen will prompt you for your username. Enter your news hosting username exactly as it appeared in your startup email and click OK. Now a news server password required box will pop up. Just enter your news hosting password and click OK. From the top navigation bar, click Unison, then Servers, then Edit Servers. In the description field, choose an account name that you'd like to label as your newsgroup account. Newshosting.com will work fine. In the server address field, you'll enter the news hosting address based on the account you chose. And this information can be found in your Quick Start email or the support section of newshosting.com. In the port field, enter 119, and the next section will ask for your username and password. Enter them exactly as they appear in your startup email that you received when you started your service. And click OK when done. Now you should see a server window appear. In the top section of this dialog box, click the Messages button. The first section will ask for your name. This is what users will see when you post articles. Most users enter an alias, but you can use your real name if you like. The next section requests your email address. This allows users that read your post to reply to you privately by email. If you want to make your email address known to others, but want to protect it from spam, enter it like so. Human readers will know to remove that portion of the displayed address to contact you. Click OK when finished, and now Unison is configured to access news hosting.